Hi guys, my name is Tiny and today uh, we're going to be testing the new Ipsy products. It's funny because the other day when I got it in the mail, I was wearing something that matched perfectly with this bag. So I'm really happy with the color I got. Uh, let's see what we got. I got the Tarte Blush in Feisty. And I got the Mini Brow Pencil by Tristique. And we got an IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. It's perfect because it has 50 plus sunscreen. And we got an M Cosmetics in Rose Nude. So we're going to be testing out these products today to see how they look. It's good to see how everybody has different um, ways to apply it or different results. So it's fun to share these videos with one another to see everybody's technique. So I've already prepped my face. Um, I've applied this toner Witch Hazel. I love it. And it's part of my every more everyday morning routine. But I don't really know if it does anything, but it's that thing that you, you include it as part of your routine, you know? Because if you don't do it, it feels like you're missing something. But uh, it smells really good. I have it in the rose petal scent. And I've already applied ponds. And so we're all set to start. First, we're going to apply some of this big cosmetics. It, it may look like a little tube, but I've tested it like two days already. And I've found that a little, a little drop like that goes a long way. So the best tools for me are my fingers. It smells good. I thought it was going to be tacky, but it's like a real nice formula. Oh, and I've already done my eyeliner because if I do it on camera, we'll be here for like two hours. You'll probably skip out of the video because <laughs> you'll get bored. And they always end up being crooked anyways, but hmm, what can we do? So, make sure you get it uh, under eyes. I got it, oh, I got it in the shade medium. But, no, yeah, it's a good, good match. Not rub it too much. Okay, and then I have my uh, damp beauty sponge. You know, just to get all those edges. Make sure you press it in really well. Hmm. I don't know why. Why, why, why? I get this grayness around my nose. I don't know how to make it go away. Does that happen to anybody else? Okay, but, hmm. It's definitely buildable, but I'm good. I'm okay with one, one layer, you know, for everyday things. And let's see, I always like to go in there to brighten up my under eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape. I have it in a light medium. I like to apply a little bit. Under the eyes. It did a good job covering a little bit. The CC cream did a good job covering a little bit of the darkness I have under the eyes. But I always add, like to add this little extra step just to brighten it up a little bit more. I can look like I'm awake. <laughs> okay, that's that. 
and we got oh and I like to set the under eyes because for some reason throughout the day they get oily there's those shiny under eyes so to set it I have some of this the Tarte filtered light setting powder it smells have you noticed that all the Tarte powder products smell like like chocolate or something sweet. I love that smell. I like to sit and dry. Get some of that shininess out. And then what? I see a little visitor here on my face. So let's get that out with. Oh. Still there. As you can tell, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> but. Whatever. Stay there for now. All right, now, oh, come sit down with new brushes. Un segundo. bronzer and a blush combination. I got this in one of the bags last month, I believe. Okay. So to add some warmth, we're going to add some of this, uh, some of the darker shade. We're going to use that as a bronzer. Let's see. And the forehead. No. It's a really nice color, actually. Just so we don't look so pale. It's good. Let's mm -hmm. add a little warm. Now we're going to go in with the blush. Does it have names? I don't have names, but it has, this is cool because you can carry it in your, in your purse, in your little um, makeup bag. It has a mirror in the back. So that's pretty cool. The blush. I think the only time I smile is when I apply blush. <laughs> color to the cheeks. Okay. Very good. So that's good. Oh! <laughs> and then we're going to add some of this, the tart one. Like a little bit more rosy. Nice little and these go such a long way, they're so pigmented. It's so good. Oh, I think I'll put too much. No. Okay. So now I also got this Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter. I got this in one of the Ipsy bags a couple months ago as well. And I really like it because it's 
A little goes a long way. But who am I kidding? We go crazy with these highlighters. I'm using this little Real Technique Techniques brush. Since my face is small, I can use these little brushes. Oh, like an earthquake. <laughs> and on this side. See that? That's that. Now the brows. Seriously, I've gone to the mall to get them threaded over the past few years. Over the last year, I've gone to the mall to get them threaded. And oh my god, little by little, this one's been look like I'm doing the rock. <laughs> Do I don't like to go too much with the brows because then I, I feel conscious about that the whole day. I like this one's lifted more than this one. So little by little, I've been letting them grow out. So we're gonna go in with the Tristique brow pencil, and how's that? work has that little chisel tip it's good to draw in like the little hairs and I've been going bald from this this piece right here Cosmetics. And I like this tip that it has because it has like a, a little slanted, it hugs your lips. <laughs> 